Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 68 Mustang with a bunch of horsepower under the hood. 521 cubic inch A460 with a big 871 blower on it, dual fours, two big demon carburetors sitting up there. The thing is amazing. Man, she's got a slick paint job on her. We got great chrome. The car is amazing. Guys, you just do not see Mustangs with this kind of horsepower under the hood ever. And it's got a five speed in it. You are gonna love checking this one out and I'm gonna love showing you. Man, look at the reflections in the paint. Look at the way that door operates. Check out the interior, all Mustang in there, guys. She is sweet. There's that five-speed shifter. It's got the Mustang dash in it, the Mustang seats. Now, it does have a roll bar in it, and it does have the uh, seat belts here. Uh, so it's got four-point harness in the seats. Headliners in there. We got tack on the dash. All the gauges are in there. Center console. Looking sweet. All the carpeting looks good. And right down there on the floorboard, that lever you see, that's to open up the dumps. It's got a manual dump there. You can open up the headers, run this baby open headers, and make some noise and get these 16.5s spinning. Yep, she's got 16.5s on the back. We got big traction. Look inside the trunk here. Look how nice and clean all that is. We got dual batteries in there. Looks like there's a battery tender on here. We've got the gas fill right here. We've got the battery shut off here. You can see all the chrome back here looks good. All the paint back here looks great. You want to talk about a showstopper? This car has been in several magazines. Pull in anywhere. I guarantee you this is best to show material right here. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever, so we own this 68 Mustang. As a matter of fact, she's got a name. Her name is Lucy. Now, when we get these cars back to the shop, we go through them so we can answer all your questions. So call Tom at 248-974-9513, and he can tell you anything about Lucy you want to know. Just give him a call. Now I've been in the business for about 35 years and I've got about 35 years of experience that I'm going to put to work for you to help you pick out your dream car.
big horsepower under the hood, big tires on the back, driving sweet, drawing a crowd wherever you go. Of course, I'm just touching the accelerator. This thing is sweet. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can send Lucy anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513 and Tom will tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway no matter where you live in the world. Just give him a call. We'd love to have you come out, check her out in person. Uh-oh, we got some uh, obstacles here. We got a lift driving out. Maybe he wants to drag race us. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so we're open on Saturdays. If you want to send out an inspector, send out an inspector. We'd love to have you come out. We don't get a lot of our customers coming out, so please. Come on out, we'd love to have you. We're open on Saturday, like I said. We're here to nine to three. We've always got new cars coming in. Call Tom anytime, he answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So give him a call anytime. He'll tell you all about the inventory all about the new stuff we got coming in. Like I said, we've always got new stuff coming in, so keep a close eye on us. We ship worldwide. We don't have any problem merging the traffic here. I think we got enough horsepower. <laughs> we'll run over this minivan. big tire cars they don't drive this nice this thing drives sweet man what an awesome ride now we're coming up on our shop here we're at 15100 Keel Street Plymouth Michigan you gotta come visit us I'd love to show you this car and the rest of our inventory like I said we've always got cool stuff coming in Now we're about to do something nobody else in the industry does. We're gonna put Lucy up on the lift and we're gonna show you what the bottom side looks like. And I tell you what, she has got one beautiful bottom. <laughs> Stick with us. All right guys, this is the underside of our Resto Mod 68 Mustang and damn, this thing has got tires under here. Um, so starting from the back forward here, you can see we do have, I believe this to be a 10 gallon fuel cell with a welded on sump here and line going over to a, um, a billet fuel pump over here. We've got two filters, a uh, before and after filter. Moving forward of all of that, you can see here we've got this bad ass uh, TIG welded exhaust. All of it is V banded. Everything comes apart on it. Very, very cool. Um, and we're going to get to that in just a second here. We can see we have a uh, Ford 9 inch here. It does have a, a strengthening brace on the back of it. Drum brakes on either end of it. I've personally seen the inside of those drum brakes. They're brand new on the inside. Moving forward to that, um, we have a Mosier center section here. Um, this is a 389 to 1 uh, gear ratio in this thing. Of course it's posi, you know, given what this is. Um, and this thing will spin both of these tires and you can tell it's a posi, let me tell you. Um, moving forward of all of that, we do have a pretty nice looking drive shaft. Looks to be made for the car here. Moving forward of all of that, here we got a set of Flowmaster 10 series mufflers here. Um, now this is not your only option for exhaust here. You're going to see that as we start moving up. You can see here that they've got the wheels tubbed out for these massive tires here. Leaf springs moved in. We do have, uh, looks like our, uh, I believe these, the technical term is ladder bars for these things here. Uh, moving forward of all of that, you can see here we do have a drive shaft loop here just for safety. Um, now here is what all, your other option for your exhaust here. These are a set of cutouts. These are manual cutouts for this thing. There's a switch underneath the seat, which is really cool. You can just swing it over and it gets really, really, really cool sounding. Uh, moving forward of all of that, you can see on this side of the car here is all of our AN line. Um, a fuel, uh, excuse me, not a fuel, a uh, brake bias valve. 
Um, inside of here, you can see we have uh, tucked up in between these massive long tube headers, we have uh, a TKO transmission here. This is a Tremec 5 speed, a very, very strong transmission, shifts great. I've personally driven this car quite a bit, it's really nice. Uh, explosion proof bell housing here, they have a clearance for these extremely long tube headers. Moving forward of all of that, we do have a relatively stock type suspension on this car. However, it does have limiter straps on it. We do have uh, the aftermarket uh, braided stainless lines here. We do have the, uh, the disc brakes, uh, like a period uh, correct set of disc brakes on this car, which is kind of cool. Um, and everything checks out just fine on those. Um, let's see here. This is the front of our, uh, I think it's a 514 stroker big block Ford. We're going to get to more of it in just a second. But a uh, very nice deep sump oil pan on the thing. Um, you can see here, this is the bottom of our blower cog here. Once again, that's pretty hard to miss. We'll see that when we get up top. And outside of that, I mean, there's just a lot of, uh, a lot of tightening up of things under here. You can see a lot of things have been made room for. This car has been heavily modified, but very, very cool. Extremely cool. We'll take a look at wheels and tires over here. All right, we have a set of like a, the little skinnies for the front. This is what you, know, you would expect to see on a car that looks like this. Um, let's see here, you gotta find the size, if I can find it. Okay, I did end up finding the size. It's this really tiny print right here, 215.75 uh, D15. Um, so it'd be a 15 inch rim here. And as you can see, it's got the big, uh, big lug studs coming through it here. Let's go take a look at the rears. Same thing back here, these big massive drag lug studs back here. Um, now this tire here, this is a Mickey Thompson ET Street, the, one of the big ones. And uh, this one's a 31 by 16 and a half, uh, 15 of course, being a uh, 15 inch rim. And look at the massive dish on this thing. Um, that all being said, I guess at this point we get to get to the fun part and take a look underneath the hood. All right guys, under the hood here, we're, you know, this is, under here is covered by the hood. The rest of this you can actually see with the hood closed. Um, this does a lot of uh, speaking for itself, but I'm going to give you a couple of little things about it here. Um, so one of the first things here, you have twin Demon carburetors on this thing. They are no choke. They are uh, blower specific carburetors. They're actually the kind that have the removable Venturis, which is really, really cool. Um, so uh, I'll give you a little bit more information about those in just a second. You can see here that this, to fit this engine here, they actually had to notch the valve covers in order to fit this thing down in here, which is extremely cool. Um, Outside of all of that, we do have, looks like a chrome alternator on the thing. It's got a really nice Cobra Jet heads on it. Um, now, this car does have a front plate and a mid plate on it as well um, to hold this thing still. Uh, another thing here that we do have, looks like a, uh, one of these uh, Mallory Unilite distributors in this thing. Um, but it does uh, have a lot of like the, uh, the stock features of it too. We do have like this, the stock Ford um, starter solenoid, stock sol uh, Ford master cylinder that actually has had uh, been a clearance with the valve cover <laughs> over there because once again, this engine is almost too big for this engine bay. Um, overall, very, very cool, a nice set of MSD spark plug wires on. We have an uh, electric water pump down here, very race car. Um, I mean, all of it is, it, it, like I said, it kind of speaks for itself here. Big old BDS blower on this thing, 871, one-to-one -one pulley on this thing. Think, this thing actually makes about eight pounds of boost, and uh, you can feel it when it kicks in, let me tell you. A little bit more about the internal workings of the engine. Um, now, this engine, the uh, short block is actually a Ford Performance short block. I actually found the Ford Motorsports tag on it. It's a 514 cubic inch engine. Now, Ford actually set these things up with the uh, Eagle H beam rods from the factory. Um, now, it does have a set of forged disc pistons on the thing, um, Ford forged disc pistons on it. Uh, that yields about uh, 9.8 to 1 compression ratio, which is what it was rated at from the factory. Um, now, I don't know what that actually uh, equates to with these cylinder heads, but uh, that's what they, their um, brochure actually said about it. So it very well might be a little bit lower to make room for all of this that's going on up here, but that's what they say. Um, if I didn't already say it, it is a one-to-one -one, uh, drive pulley. Um, ARP 12-point head studs, which you, know, you can actually see those right there, that is confirmed. Um, now, a little bit that the previous owner told us about this thing here is it does have a, a Canton windage tray on it, a uh, three-quart oil accumulator, which you can actually see poking through the uh, uh, windshield right there, sitting back there. It does have a manly 10 degree valve locks, Lunati titanium retainers. It has a comp cam solid roller camshaft, and of course it has a solid lifters as well. 260, or excuse me, 271 lift, and 278 on the exhaust, uh, the 71 being the uh, intake. Uh, dual roller timing chain from comp cams. Ford Racing 1.73 uh, roller rockers. Uh, comp roller lifters to go with the cam that was in it. A uh, Ford Racing set of push rods, and of course you already uh, saw the CSR, um, excuse me, uh, water pump, and then it also has a CSR uh, mini starter on it as well. As far as the carburetors go, I told you I was going to give you a little more information. They're 775 uh, cc uh, um, a piece, and uh, 
or CFM, excuse me, mechanical secondaries, no choke main bodies, of course, down leg boosters, and like I had said, it actually has the ones with the uh, removable venturis, which is really cool. If you look, if you take this blower off and you look down the gullet of them, they actually look very cool. You can tell that the uh, venturi actually comes, I think, out from the bottom if you take the uh, bottom plate off. Very, very cool, very performance oriented, and overall, this thing is an absolute beast if you get it down on the road, but you do need to be careful because it, it has the ability to get away from you. That all being said, if you would like to have this monster parked in your driveway and you've got the balls to drive it, make sure to call Tom with the number below. Let Vanguard Motorcycle park this monster in your driveway.